Hi everyone, welcome to a uh, quick video on how we uh, build a customer base over the first three months of our, our clean easy business. Now, there are, are two critical things to building your uh, clean easy customer base and one is to follow a system and the other is to keep records. And the records we keep for two reasons, so that we know where we've been and when and what happened, i.e. we put a catalogue through somebody's letterbox, we, know that we need to remember which street we went to and when, and we also need to know in, each, in the case of each particular catalogue what happened, because four things can happen. One is you pick the catalogue up and best option, it's got an order in it. Um, two is uh, somebody has looked at the catalogue so they've, they've read the catalogue, they've possibly seen something they like and may come back to you in the future to buy something. Third option is somebody's not opened the catalogue pack, which is the equivalent of having walked past the shop and not gone in. Um, so we need to record that in some way uh, because that could be a factor in whether we continue to go to that house or not. Uh, and then lastly, there is the uh, scenario where you don't get the book back. Now, if the book's not on the doorstep, as per our request in the little catalogue slip, we would knock on the door. If there's no answer, we will put a sorry I missed you slip through the letterbox saying which day we're coming back on, and we would go back to the catalogue. And ultimately, uh, depending on your persistence, you get 90 to 95% of the catalogues you didn't get back on the first occasion back eventually. Okay, so the methods by which we can record all this information are uh, the system I was originally taught is the, the BIDS uh, round book available from BIDS, uh, BIDS web shop. Uh, it's the system I was taught by Katrina when she introduced me to the business and as you can see on the top line, um, my very first customer the first house I went to, Mrs Jackson at number 33 Melville Road and you can see from the circles around the letter B's those represent the orders from Mrs Jackson and she's still a customer four and a half years later. Now at this time uh, I was taught to go to each particular house five to seven times uh, but being a statistician I've, I've analysed this system and refined it uh, for two reasons to make it a bit more suitable for me and specific to me uh, but also because I've found that anybody who orders after the third occasion um, statistically has a lower chance of becoming a long term customer. We really want customers on our list to order every month, every second month or every third month. So we wouldn't be interested in finding customers who took four or more months to get an order. Okay. Since then, uh, Clean Easy has developed their retail book, uh, and they have uh, they they include this in some of the kits, but not all of the kits. Um, but you can buy this Clean Easy uh, retail notebook uh, as a sales aid from Clean Easy when you're placing your orders, or you can buy the Bids Brown book in batches uh, from from Bids. Uh, both cost twenty to thirty pence, um, and uh, you can you can use them if you choose. However, I just wanted to show you that it is possible to operate this system if you're capable of being organised, just using individual pieces of paper. Now, the important thing to track this piece of paper is along the top line. I have given this given this page a filing label. UK30 represents the drop. That could have similarly say drop 1, drop 2, drop 3. Um, then I've, I've, I've said that it's the first drop because I need to know whether it's the first, second or third. And then I've also said that it's period 12, week 2, I believe. And as you can see, these each of these house numbers represent one of the entries in the round book and they have the four different things going on. For example, number 39A has a circle around it representing an order for £102.30 and then some of the other houses have 
uh, an X with a dash, which means they didn't look at the catalogue, just an X, which means they looked at the catalogue, or dots, or, or multiple dots above, to suggest that we didn't get the catalogue back. Okay. And wh where we go from there is we eliminate all the people who either didn't give us the catalogue back or didn't look at the catalogue. And by doing this we, we achieve two things. We're, we're eliminating and getting closer to our list of customers. We're also reducing the workload on ourselves. As time goes on you do less work for more money, uh, i.e. Uh, on blanket dropping uh, we would expect results between 50 pence and a pound per catalogue on the first drop uh, and that increases as you go to the second and third drop and then all the way to customer base where you could get up to five to ten pounds per catalogue. Uh, the presentation method is slightly different so I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but carrying on with blanket dropping, UK30 on this particular document is the second drop and as you can see there are significantly less houses to go to. 39A is now in red to make sure that that lady got uh, the best quality of catalogue, that is the same catalogue that my regular customers are getting and everybody else just continue to get a blanket dropping or what we call kamikaze catalogue. And some of the people who looked on the first drop have now not looked on the second drop. Now that suggests to me from a marketing point of view that those people have made a decision not to look again, which again uh, tells me to remove them from the list and not to waste my time any further. So when I do go to these people for the third time, there will be even less catalogues to take. But statistically on this occasion I only put 17 catalogues out for one order of £40. So I've already gone from the, the national average of 52 a pounds, 50 pence to a pound per catalogue to in excess of two pounds per catalogue just by refining and deleting the houses that I'm going to. Okay. <coughs> but you have to be organised. Uh, the filing label across the top of the page is everything. So even if it's a loose piece of paper, it can be under control if it has a filing label. Okay, we've been through the detail. If anybody has any questions, they can give us a call. They can send us an email. Um, the, the only difference to bear in mind <coughs> that I haven't covered is if you were to follow the HPRH system, that's the High Performance Retail Habits or Presentation Method, of dropping catalogues. The records are slightly more complex and longer because you will go to more houses per order but statistically the returns are better. You would receive three to four pounds per catalogue on the first drop. Um, if anybody wants to discuss that we're available and we'll show you how just how the method slightly differs to record where you've been and what happened. And um, in the next video will teach you what happens from the 12 week point onwards when you begin to manage a customer base for profit and for, for profitability and for a regular income which you, which you begin to achieve once you have a growing list of customers. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope to hear from you. Cheers, bye.